Hello, welcome to the class of Wireshark. Today we will learn how to create Wireshark firewall ACL rule. So to use this feature, firstly we have to capture some packet. Here I have captured these packets that are related to different protocol. So the fi firewall ACL rule option is present over here in this tool options. So as I click over it, this option will appear firewall ACL rule. So this option is used to make an assist control list rule by implementing a type of logic that permits or denies certain packets to go through an interface. So it means it will create a list of the user that have that don't have the permission to use this network. So it means Wireshark can also act as a or work as a firewall. So it is a device that examines traffic that passes over the network and according to the ACL rule it will allow and block the packets over there over this traffic. So to use this option we have to select a particular packet or a particular IP address for which we have to create this ACL list. So here I don't want this IP address or this user to use my network. So by selecting this IP by selecting this packet we have to go to this option that is tools and next to firewall ACL rule. So as I select this this firewall ACL rule option will dialog box will appear. So from here you can see the product it's showing the product type here it select the cisco ios standard as the as a default so here in this main window it showing the syntax for this particular filter and from here we have to select the filter type so first of all we have to select the product as we are creating the firewall over the windows for that we have to select the windows firewall and next we have to make the choice for the filter type and from here we can make a choice according to the that we want the want to block the communication over tcp port 80 or over this tcp port or we want to make the combination block like we want to block the communication over this ip address and also over this tcp port 80 as i select this in command line window it will shows the command for this and from here option for the deny so from here as i select this option unselect this option it will enable this ip address to communicate over this network and as i click over as i click over this checkbox it will disable this ip address to be communicate over this network so if you want to enable the communication you can choose this deny option and next if you want only want to only want to block the inbound traffic for that you have to select this option from here that is ip firewall for that from here you have to make the filter choice by select so here it uh, showing the ipv6 addresses ipv4 addresses and tcp ports so by making the filter choice from here you can block the traffic over the inbound traffic over this ip address so i'm selecting this ip address and i want to block the inbound traffic so here it shows the command that it adds in ip from this ip address to any of the inbound traffic so you can save this option for the future use for saving this you can select this option save and here you have to make the file for it you have to give a file name like here i am giving file one and you have to select the directory for that after selecting the directory then select the option save so to open this file again we have to choose this and now click over to open with and select the notepad option here it will show the command that is used to block this ip address inbound traffic over this ip address so in this way we can save these commands for the future references so this is how we can create the fireshock firewall acl rules thank you